Yes lads, what is happening? And welcome back to another video on the channel. Keen Miley here, bringing you guys your Leeds United away match preview. As always, if you guys do go on to enjoy, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know your score prediction for the massive clash tomorrow. Maybe more massive for us Derby fans right now. We're really, really desperate for a win. Um, but yeah, welcome to my match preview for the Leeds game. First of all, gassed. Can't wait to head to Ellen Road. Obviously, in the back of our minds is that 4-2 victory last time. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, hoping for some crazy scenes like that this time. Really hoping for a victory more than anything going into Ellen Road. It'd be massive if we could take three points back to Derby and back to Pride Park. Uh, also got on a Connor from All Eats TV. Uh, top man, top channel. Going to keep this pretty much raw and unedited. To those wondering why this isn't live, uh, why I've just uploaded it, because I've got Connor on here, I've been able to do basically a live stream and then put him in it. So if I wanted to edit it and make it look a bit more professional, put a few opposition fans in here uh, and just make it better, really, um, I was unable to make it live. Uh, but I hope you all understand. Um, Connor will be hearing a bit, a bit from him how he thinks tomorrow will go down. I saw the title of his preview on their channel, All Leads TV, and it was um, somewhat, I think it was Enketia against Kio, and it just made me think, this time we've gone worse and they've gone better. Definitely, oh mate. I could say it's anyone's game, but I do really think they will beat us. Um, but yeah, we're going to be hearing from Connor at the end of this clip. So after I'm done talking, then uh, yeah, stay tuned for that bit as well. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to All Leads TV. So anyway... Leeds United away, match preview, cannot wait first of all, always love going to Ellen Road, obviously last time as I said, touched on briefly, I think it does need a little bit more of an introduction, but that 4-2 victory was the best away day of my life, it was unreal, if only we went up that season, literally it all counted for nothing at the end of the day, we're both back in the Prem, uh, <laughs> I wish, we're both back in the Championship, uh, obviously Leeds United look like a very, very strong unit going forward this season. I think they sit top of the pile right now. Uh, and obviously, our game is 12.30. I'm sure there's a game tonight, but yeah. Our game is 12.30, kick-off on Sky uh, tomorrow, midday. Score prediction, off the back. You heard it here first. I think it will finish. A solid team in Leeds who previously beat Barnsley, I believe. And us lot, 1-1 one, one draw against Cardiff. It was massive improvements, but still nowhere near good enough. It's first versus 19. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Leeds victory. Call me negative. I think this is the first time I've predicted a loss uh, in a preview. But I'm just being realistic here. I really, really do hope I get proven wrong by the Rams. I'm going to go 3-1. Um, Leeds fans, one thing I've... Pretty much gathered from Marcelo Bielsa so far. He doesn't really like to change his team. He li Unlike Koku, he pretty much likes to have set in stone squad. Uh, and players in form have to find their way through. Uh, and if they're good enough, he'll put them in. Which I personally think is way way better than what a lot of managers do. And just play um, the top players in the team just because they're there. But if they're not hitting good form then I don't see why uh, they should be in the squad. Every player in that team, in that Leeds team is fighting for their shirt and no way is at all is this going to be easy. So, goal scorers for Leeds. And Eddie and Ketia, who I believe scored against Barnsley uh, last week it was. Uh, if he does start, I don't think he has started a game yet. Hilda, uh, him and Costa, from what I've seen from a few previous Leeds games this season, him, uh, Eddie and Ketia and Helder Costa, who in my opinion are definitely up there with two of the best uh, players at Leeds right now. Marcelo Bielsa doesn't really like to start him. He brings him on as impact players. Reminds me a bit of what uh, Gary Rowett used to do with Vidra. Bring him on. And to be fair, it worked. Vidra used to score and Costa supplying most of it and Eddie and Ketia get on, getting on the end of most of it. If he does start tomorrow, I do really think he'll cause us some major problems. Against the likes of Keo and Clark. I just really can't see this ending well. Obviously, it's how the players play on the day. Um, three points would be massive, though, going into... What's the next game? Birmingham at home. Three points would be massive. Obviously, all the players need to do is play the game, not the occasion. 
I know there's a few players still in that still in that team who were giving it the big in last season with all the binoculars and that. You would have seen in my thumbnail with Tamori, who's who's obviously at Chelsea now, uh, and Jaden Bogle going like this. Absolutely quality. Uh, obviously, we got the last laugh, but they'll say they will because uh, we lost at Wembley. But it was unreal that night at Ellen Road. Goal scorer for us. He loves to score against Leeds. I'm sure you lot will all know about him. It's Jack Marriott. I think he'll bag. Um, to be fair to Koku, us fans have said put him in, start Marriott. But the games he's been in, he's not even scored. So obviously he hit the bar, came very unlucky against Cardiff City, but still got a lot to uh, prove himself. Uh, and yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how he does turn up at Ellen Road. Predicted lineups. Uh, whoa. In goal, Keller Roos, who was very shaky last time we played Leeds, but we turned out to win, so it didn't really matter. Um, in goal, Keller Roos. That hammer, I don't think he's as good as Roos, personally. That's just my opinion. Um, and then left back, if he... All right, so we're going to do this team pretty much similar to last week, uh, providing Bogle isn't fit. Obviously, if Bogle is fit, I'd put Max Lowe left back and Bogle right back. But if Bogle isn't fit, I'd do Scott Malone left back, two centre-backs of Keo uh, and Matt Clark, right back of Max Lowe, who, to be fair, to be fair to the guy, he's actually been all right. Massive shoes to fill in Jaden Bogle's. Uh, it's not even his natural position as well. And I can't wait for Bogle to be back. Not only for him to be in right back, but for Max Lowe to get in his natural position in left back. I do believe he should overthrow um, Scott Malone in that left back position. Because from what I've seen of, of him, obviously he's got a lot to learn. He's a young lad. From what I've seen of him, he's a top player. So there's a back four of Malone, Keo, Clark and Bogle. And then... I'd do four triple two. I've said it before. It's ha it hasn't happened yet, but I still stick by this team. And then two, uh, so two holding midfielders in front of the defence because they're going to be running at us tomorrow. They're going to come all guns blazing, and we have to be prepared for it because the first goal in this game, I believe, is going to be the killer. If we score first, I think good things will happen. Let's just say that. If we score first, it'll be absolutely massive. Just like if they score first, uh, it'll be huge for them. Normally, when we go to Ellen Road. The fans are rocking, so the last thing we need is them getting an early goal. But look what happened last time they got an early goal. All right, I'm going to stop banging on about that 4-2 victory now. It's done. We're still in the championship, both teams. So, to, anyway, two holding midfielders in front of the defence. I'm going to go for man like Bielik, who man of the match last time out against Cardiff. It was top quality. I couldn't really fault him in that game at all. Out of 10, I'd maybe give him 9 or 10. It was top Top dollar. Next to him as another holding midfielder, I'd go for Graham Shinney just because uh, when we played Forest at the City Ground in the Carabao Cup, obviously we lost 3 0, but it wasn't all down to Shinney. Yes, he isn't a holding midfielder. From what I saw of him, he is. He likes to get stuck in. He's a proper, proper footballer, in my opinion, and I think he deserves a chance in the first team. And why not give it him against Leeds United at Ellen Road? So they're the two holding midfielders of. Christian Bielik and uh, Graham Shinney. Then I'd do two attacking midfielders just behind the two strikers. So the two attacking midfielders, I'd go for Dwayne Holmes, who was, now that he's back in, it's great to see him in the team, first of all. Top quality. Um, and yeah, we really did miss him, but I'm glad he's back. Uh, and then next to him, I'd go Mason Bennett. This guy, Derby born and bred. He deserves a chance in the team. He's not getting any game time at all whatsoever. So I do believe... He does have a right to start um, next to Holmes as an attacking midfielder just behind the two strikers of Martin Waggon and Jack Marriott. If we played that team, we'd give these a real, real good go. And hey, could even come away with three points. But yeah, that would be my predicted... Not really predicted because I can't see Koki doing that. But the starting lineup that I would love to see take on the Whites at Ellen Road. So the goalkeeper, Keller Roos, Dutch... Quality, to be fair, he's our starting keeper. And then a back four of Malone, Keo, Clark and Max Lowe. Two holding midfielders in front of the defence of Bielik and Graham Shinney. Two attacking midfielders slash pretty much there to support the strikers. I'd have Mason Bennett and uh, Dwayne Holmes. And then two strikers, I'd go for Martin Wagon, Snip at 5 million and Jack Marriott. That team, as I said, I think it would do really well. But... 
what Koku would do, I'm guessing he'd do 4 3 3. So, yeah, score prediction 2 3 1 leads. I would really, really love to be proven wrong by them Derby players out there tomorrow. You guys have heard what I would love us to line up as. Um, and yeah, all I can say is bring on the leads, boys. My match day vlog for tomorrow's game will be out about 4 or 5 o'clock tops, I'd say, because kickoffs uh 12.30. It's an early one tomorrow on Sky TV. And if you can't make it to the game, don't forget to check out my vlog after. It'll capture all the highlights and all of that. That's for Leeds fans, Derby fans, any fans. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for my vlog tomorrow. It should be a good one. It normally always is travelling to Ellen Road. And let's hope we don't get smashed. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. No, this is not the end. Don't click off. We've still got Connor to come on. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all of that. Let's get to 6K. You're all legends. Um, and yeah, now over to the LUFC boy. It's Connor from All Leeds TV. Hey Kean, hope you're alright mate, Derby fans, how you all doing? Connor from All Leeds TV here, you might remember my uh, face from last season, did a few previews with Kean and some other Derby channels. Listen, the big one this weekend, uh, you know, there was a little bit of a rivalry for, <coughs> forged last year, excuse me, but you know, I've, I've got respect for Derby, I think Derby have got respect for us, obviously the minority don't from both clubs, but... Uh, I've got no issues with Derby at all. You know, I don't see him as one of the main rivals that we have, to be honest. There's no ill feeling there. And I just wanted to get that out of the way before we get into the game because I think it's been drubbed up by the press as something that it's not. I think you've got considerably weaker, if I'm brutally honest, from last season. You might not like me saying that, but I think for, as, as an outside football fan, I think you've got considerably weaker. The loss of Mount. I mean, you look how well he's doing in the Premier League this season. Uh, Wilson, um, once again, doing well in the Premier League for Bournemouth. And Tamori, another one who's doing really well. I always really rated Tamori. I would have had him at Leeds as well. But we've recruited really smartly. Our loan system has been incredible this year. Ben White, who is literally one of the best the best defender I've seen at Leeds since the Premier League years, uh, since Jonathan Woodgate. He's that good. He's incredible. He's brought a calmness and assurance Instead of Pontus Janssen, who's moved on, which I'm quite happy with, you know, I think Ben White's a much better, more accomplished footballer. And I think, you know, he deal with Jack Marriott a lot better and deal with, like, you know, like some Martin Wycorn a lot better than Janssen would. Less emotional and he's very calm and composed, as I've said. Another sign as well, Eddie Nketiah, you've seen how good he is. The guy's an absolute goal machine. If it was up to me, what I would be doing is starting him against Richard Keogh. And Clark, if Clark is going to be at the back, he'd absolutely tear them apart pace-wise. You know, you look at Roof over the four uh, of the three games he played against Keogh and Tamori last year, he was absolutely excellent. Eddie Nketiah is about two or three levels above Kimar Roof. So, you know, with 32 clubs who were in for his signature and Leeds getting that signature, we were very happy with that acquisition. He's a wonderful player. And then to sort of finalise that, we've got Helder Costa, who can play on the left, he can play on the right, he can play through the middle, he can play up front. And it looks like this could be the game where we start him because, you know, he was just so magnificent against Barnsley at the weekend. So I'm very excited. We've got options. Adam Forshaw's out, which is a bit of a problem. But Jamie Shackleton comes in, who had very good games against Derby last year. So I am positive about this game. And I think this potentially could be a game where we put Derby away quite comfortably. But that that all depends on the team lineup. You know, I'm fully expecting Derby to come and make it difficult for Leeds United, even dependent on results. Good luck for the rest of the season after the weekend's game. Give a shout out to the video sponsors. It's the Magic Sponge. Top quality, 10 out of 10 framed artwork. I'm going to wait there. I'll get the frame that I received the other day. Just there. So this is the frame I received. Top quality, 10 out of 10. Obviously 16 because the channel was created in 2016. Key and Marley. Uh, and if you guys want to get your hands on something like this, don't forget to smash the link in the description. Go check it out. Uh, you'll know it's linked to click because it says the magic sponge. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get your hands on something like this, hit the link in the description. Now over to the co-owner of the magic sponge. Going to be telling you guys a bit about what the magic sponge really has to offer and what it's all about. So, take it away, Hardy. So, my name's Hardy. I'm from the magic sponge and we create uh, football, fan art, uh, loads of badges and players. You might have seen it. Um, if you want to have a look, uh, just go to www.themagicsponge.co.uk and uh, let us know what you think.